Hi guys, welcome back to Doug's Basement Workshop. We're sitting in the CNC room today. Uh, we did a new piece, a new piece of uh, 3D art that I picked up, and this is the Phoenix. And it's a little small for the model. I'll probably not carve it again in this small. Um, the wing detail in the very base is just, it's beautiful. The detail in this model is absolutely stunning. And I lost a lot of detail because I tried to make it too small. And I'm kind of bummed out by that. But there are a couple things I want to try with this that I think will be worth, worth losing the model. Nice thick model. That's what I like to have. It makes it easy to put the screws in the back for the hanger. Um, when you see this in the time lapse in a minute, you're going to see we started out with the quarter inch end mill. And then we did the finishing pass with the eighth inch ball nose bit. Um, you're also going to notice that I've been running two finishing passes on all of my projects guys. I've been running a side to side first and then doing a circle cutout or a circle finishing pass. There's a really good reason why I'm doing that. Um, I noticed when I did my circles first I was getting kind of a pattern in the back of the wood that wasn't going away when I went to side to side. I find when I do a side to side first, I get a great finish on the back. I don't have any swirl or marks where it edges out. So those of you who do CNC stuff, you, you understand. When, you, when you're cutting a circle, at the same point in every pattern, it edges out a little bit. And then it goes the next circle and it edges out, and it goes the next circle and it edges out. And that can leave marks on the wood. At least my machine has been. I don't know if that's the way I have it calibrated wrong. I don't know if it's the setting in the, in the software. I found a solution. I run my first finishing pass on Cherry at 610 millimeters a minute with a ball nose and a 200 millimeter drop on an elevation. The reason I slow down my elevation drops is to get some of that fine detail without chattering the bit. If you plunge too quick on some of these models, especially the 3Ds, I'm putting 18, 10, 18, 20 hours into some of these models. The last thing I want to do when I've already invested that much time in the piece of wood is to get chatter or have some, some chip out because I'm pushing too hard. I'd rather sacrifice a little bit of time and get a better finished product. I clearly am not a manufacturer of this stuff. I'm not cranking out 100 models a week. I'm doing a couple models at a time as a recreation and a hobby. Um, I'd love to be selling more of these on Etsy. It's a great price point for me on Etsy. It's a fun project to do. I love doing 3D models because I can set the 3D model up to run and I can go work on another project. Really, really easy. My roughing passes are usually an hour to two hours. My finishing passes usually run me 10 to 12 hours. So I can turn this on and go work on turning in the shop. I can go work on finishing, sanding. I can go work on my social media. I can do video editing. One of the reasons I like the 3D models, I only do one or two a week because it takes an entire day to do one, is it gives me the chance to take care of other things in life. I know, seems kind of silly, but it works really well for me so far. Um, questions, comments down below. Uh, remember guys, comments and questions help me out. It makes it look like I have more engagement. It helps me with my getting some more ranking on YouTube. So it is helping me out by hitting that like button, that little blue thumbs up, or subscribing to my channel. I love to have you guys coming back more often and hanging out with me here in the wood shop. Don't forget we are moving the shop soon. We will be seeing more of some vlogs for a little while. It will not be forever. I will not continue doing vlogs after the move. But we will be, I will be moving my shop to a six bay barn on a small farmstead. And you'll be seeing me do some stuff with building a shop from scratch. We're going to be building a heated room for the CNC machine. And hopefully what will be coming is a laser for me. And I want to have a heated room for that as well. So keep watching guys. There's lots of great stuff coming on our channel here. Um, I have moved all the Etsy stuff to its own channel. So you don't have to watch all that Etsy stuff anymore. Any more questions or comments, guys, remember, hit me up. Happy to help out with anything I can. Have a great day.